Welcome back to UTC AI Studio. AI powered, creativity fueled. OpenAI has shocked the world again with the latest update to ChatGPT, the agent mode. In this video, I'll show you all the crazy things you can do with all new ChatGPT agent launched on July 17, 2025. It took users by storm within just two weeks and people are doing some next level stuff with it. I've been playing around with ChatGPT agent for a couple of days now and it is surprisingly good. But to understand better, first let's see what Agent is. ChatGPT Agent combines features from two earlier tools, OpenAI Operator and Deep Research into one powerful system, which is a unified system that can both think and act for you using a virtual machine. Think equals research and plan, whereas act equals navigating the web, running code, and editing files. The operator could browse the web for you like a virtual assistant opening Chrome, searching on your behalf, and giving results and deep research as its name states, can basically do research and plan your goal. For instance, if you want to plan an itinerary for a trip, the agent will do some research analysis and browse through various sources on the web. It will analyze everything according to your needs and it will give you the top results to choose from. Now imagine combining both operator and deep research. The result is agent. It can research, plan and act. And trust me, the output delivered is insane. To find agent mode in ChatGPT, you click on the tools under chat box. And if you don't see agent mode here, that's because you're in a free plan. Currently, you need a paid subscription such as Pro or Plus to get access to the agent feature. You can select agent mode in tools under chat area. We have suggested reports, actions, spreadsheets, and presentations modes to choose from. Based on the task, we need to choose the agent. Reports are used to generate detailed written content using AI like business summaries, analysis, product comparisons, or trend breakdowns. Example, create a market research report comparing electric cars in 2025. Actions can perform multi-step tasks, such as planning trips, finding deals, or organizing data. Example, find the top five budget hotels in Paris and create a weekend plan. Spreadsheets can build Excel or Google Sheets with data and formulas, useful for budgeting, tracking goals, planning projects, or creating data entry templates. Example, make a monthly budget sheet with income, expenses, and savings. Presentations help you create slide outlines or full decks, perfect for pitches, school projects, tutorials, or YouTube content. Example, build a 10-slide deck on the future of AI in education. If you have any prompts for agents, ask them in the chat box. If not, we can always explore a few suggested prompts available underneath. To begin, we will try something which is available under Report. Let's choose. Create a four-day San Sebastian itinerary using TripAdvisor. We can see ChatGPT will set up a virtual machine in a closed environment at OpenAI, where ChatGPT now works for you. We can see the agent perform different steps. If I go down here, I have a live view. I can go back and forth to see what all steps it took. We can see it is documenting what it's doing, or I can just click the live to see what's happening. It takes a little time. So be patient. Nine minutes later, we have an itinerary which we asked for in Excel format. We can download it by clicking the download button on the top right side. I must say I am really impressed. It gave options across price ranges, luxury upper mid, mid, budget, and guest house. It clearly mentioned the whole day to do schedule for every option from arriving till departure. And it also gave all option comparisons to make it easy to choose. We can also see it gave the suggested venue details along with their ratings, what key activities are available there, what their dining highlights are, along with keynotes to consider. We can see how much time and effort has been saved. If a human must do the same, I am sure it would have taken a whole day to research and document. To see how the agent worked, we can inspect the log. For that, we must scroll up and click Worked for 9 minutes. It can be a little bit tricky to see the whole log and all the steps by scrolling. Instead, if you have time, you can always play the whole log by clicking Play. If you click three dots, we can access the activity to see the whole log and all the steps it took in detail by scrolling up or down. Pretty cool, right? If you're loving what Agent Mode can do, give this video a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. Now, let's see what happens when we ask ChatGPT to pick our next stock investments. I always wanted to use AI to pick stocks, so let's ask. Act as my AI stock advisor. 
I'm a US-based investor with a moderate risk appetite, looking to invest $3,000 in three promising short-term, one to three month stocks from NASDAQ or NYSE. Use the latest market trends, financial data, and expert sentiment. Provide a ranked list with risk level, potential ROI, and key reasons to buy. Include a table comparing the picks and any sell or hold suggestions. Again, we can see that the virtual machine kicked in. After 11 minutes, we got an output in a tabular form. The output looks a bit complex, so let's simplify it by generating a PowerPoint presentation using our agent. After a while, we got our PowerPoint presentation slide. Let's download and see what our agent got for us. I must admit it looks impressive. We can see pie charts, images, graphs, and tables to understand with ease. On the first page, we have a summary of our agenda following three potential stocks which we can invest in, followed by comparisons with risks, ROI percentages, and what percentages of amount to invest is recommended. I didn't expect this level of detail. Let's see how many searches and sources our agent has worked on to come up with our result. It has done 22 searches and browsed 135 sources. That's astonishing. Now let's try a different scenario. We will shop oil paintings in Etsy. But this time we will use VPN to trick our location and shop in another country to see how the agent will react to the scenario. The prompt we are going to use for this is Find oil paintings on USA for under $150 with free shipping within USA. Prioritize listings with vibrant paintings painted by top-rated artists, items that are in stock and ready to ship. Add the top five options to my chart and include direct links to each. And we can clearly see the location is identified as non-USA. Agent chooses to change demographic location. That's good. It even updated the currency automatically. Nice touch. After 17 minutes of waiting, we got our result. We have key details such as artist, diameters and cost. And we also got item-wise links to check and finalize the buy. Let's try another use case. This time we will try to plan a holiday using our agent. Let's ask. Create a 14-day travel plan for a first-time traveler visiting Spain in October 2025. The trip should cover Barcelona, Madrid and Seville, connected by high-speed trains. Recommend mid-range hotels within a 15 minutes walk of public transport in each city. For every stop, include two must-try dishes or authentic local food spots. Provide a suggested daily budget in US dollars. Deliver the final itinerary as a downloadable Excel tabular form and include a public Google Maps link. After 11 minutes of wait, we got our result. Let's dig in and see the activity of our agent. We can see the agent has conducted 11 searches and considered 95 sources. If we scroll down, we can see the spreadsheet which we asked for. Let's open and see the content. Our agent gave us two sheets. One is itinerary and the other one is summary. In itinerary, we have day-wise plans starting from Barcelona, then Madrid and Seville. It clearly gave what all one can do in the morning, afternoon and evening, where to stay, what food to try in each location followed with daily budget per person. The summary section could be improved with a more refined prompt. Now let's check the journey map which we asked to generate. It clearly shows 14 stops and our three main destinations Barcelona, Madrid and Seville. Perfect. Let's give our agent a different task. This time we will ask our agent to access personal Google Drive and give us a summary of a file. For this we will use the same PowerPoint file which our agent generated earlier regarding short-term stocks. For this scenario, the first thing we need to do is to give Google Drive access to our agent. To do so, click Sources next to Agent. If you don't see Drive in pop-up, click Connect More. 
click Google Drive, click Connect and give all the permissions to GPT to access the drive seamlessly. Choose the account you want to use and click Connect to confirm access. We will get a pop-up on the top confirming connectivity. Now click Sources again and enable Drive and disable Web Search to stop it from accessing web. Now we are ready for our task. Now let's prompt our agent to access my Google Drive and extract the PowerPoint file named short-term share pick.bptx. Summarize all key data such as company names, stock prices, expected returns, timeframes, etc. and convert it into a single clean graphical image in infographic or dashboard style. Give some visual preferences, bold fonts, icons or color bars to show short-term ROI potential, include a timeline or investment horizon if available, and highlight top pick if mentioned. Let's ask the final output to provide a single high-resolution image summarizing all content visually, ready to download or embed in a presentation. Ask our agent to use built-in tools or convert slides into a summary dashboard with visual elements. Make it visually appealing but factual. After three minutes of waiting, the outcome shows all three stock details, such as revenue, new income, key drives, analyst rating and risk in a single image. It also depicted ROI graphically. Very well done. In the same way, we can give access to Gmail, Box, Canva, Dropbox, GitHub, Google Calendar, HubSpot, Linear, Notion, Outlook Calendar, and Email, SharePoint, and Teams to perform various tasks like auto response to emails, booking appointments, or events in calendars, and so on. But before giving access to personal data, do remember that data may be used to train the model unless you turn off the option or accept the risk. I love the fact that we can do a lot of things with the agent without sweating oneself. The operator was great, just we have to tell it specifically what certain task to be done and it will only work on that task. But on the other hand, we have a chat GPT agent which can just figure out stuff on its own by searching various web pages, changing demographic locations, currency and giving you the best results possible. That's just an introduction to chat GPT agent and I think we've explored a lot today. But there's so much more to uncover. Have you tried agent mode yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Like, share, and subscribe, because we're just getting started. What use cases do you have in mind? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to see what you're thinking. This is UTCI Studio, AI-powered, creativity-fueled. And as always, keep learning, keep building, and keep creating with AI. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.